Hey guys, it's Sharon, Little Britain Company. Um, I am uh, talking to you quietly because I'm in a store and I'm trying not to be intrusive, but I wanted to share with you uh, that I think Dollar Tree, with its newest changes, might be not the best place to shop for your Easter stuff. So I am in Dollar General and I have to say, looking at some of their prices, if Little Britt was still little little, I'd be coming here to get his stuff. Their prices are just amazing. So let me show you what I found. Okay, we're gonna take a look at a lot of just dollar items. You've got, these are super cute. You've got the Peeps stickers for just a dollar. Oh, look at these back here. I didn't see those. Oh, look, those are like raised. I gotta get those. Got to get those. Let me put these back. Okay, so down here. Oops. Let me make sure I put that back on the We have those raised caps. Those are always fun. You put them in water and they grow a dollar. We've got now these are the Peeps wands. Those are three dollars. But next to them you have scented Play-Doh. And the top turns into like a, an imprint. A dollar. You have Easter books, a dollar. You have, sorry, back here you've got these cute little chickadees, a dollar. You have this Easter um, glasses, the bunny ears, so cute. And I think they have, yeah, they have pink ones back here too. We've got green. And oops, green and pink. So lots of choices. Light up bracelets. Oh, look at that little chickadee. That's really cute. A little chickadee. You've got the butterfly. You have a cute bunny. Those are adorable. Oh, look at the little mini bunnies. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I have to get them. Just one. Um, this is like a, a bouncy ball, egg splat, so I think it's going to be a little bit sticky. Um, so you have a light up spinner, and I think that one, yeah, that one comes in pink too. So let me grab one so you can see, see if this one works. But that one doesn't work. They may be... Hmm. It might be that, that um, you had to pull, you know, the little pin thing out. So I saw it work before. It was really cute. Look at those cute little bunnies. Okay, so some of the Peeps stuff is a little bit more expensive, but most of it is a dollar. You're going to save so much money coming here and finding your items. Oh, oh sorry. Let me get that. Let's get those. Set up. I like that little pink one back there. And then you have, this is like um, table, table garnish, there you go, for a buck. You've got the little copper bunnies, they're all different colors. Oh, the this is this the um, plastic wrap. Again, it's all just a dollar. Look at how cute this one is. You could keep that, or you could put the um, eggs somewhere else. It's really cute. So you have the different chalk. That's not chalk, that's more of a display item. Uh, but you've got the chalk in there. Let's see, down below. That's a cute, look at that little wooden wreath. So cute. And the wooden egg. And the activity kits. This is cute. Look at this one. So you make two of these. Let me show you that closer. It makes two of these 3D tulips. So they you put them together. One dollar. Alright, so this one is for the DIY eggs. And there are four in there. I think this one's fun. Little activity kits for the kids. Oh, 
ない。Hat bunny is so stinking cute. That little cross stitch bunny is so cute. Okay, so you've got the pom poms. You've got these little bunnies. I, I know those are a dollar. I looked at those earlier. The trucks. These are cute little gnomes. Look at these signs. Hippity Hop, Cottontail Farms, Happy Easter, and Follow the Bunny, He Has Chocolate. All just a dollar, guys, seriously. So let me show you these gnomes. They are pretty daggone cute. This one's very Alice in Wonderland-ish. Let's see this one. Oh, they're so cute. So you have these. Uh, Dollar Tree carries those. Those eggs, this sort of garnish. Their eggs might be a wee bit bigger. Um, you have Garland. You have Shred. Up here, these are a little bit more expensive. Let me show you what's up on this roof, on this roof, on this section. Um, you have the cupcake kits, which have all sorts of stuff with them for two dollars. And then I think these are wonderful. These are the Easter Bunny bags, and you've got the pom poms with them, but they are three dollars. So you have got all sorts of. Paper products, eight count for a dollar. Eight count is the same as Dollar Tree is doing. Let's see if they've got any cute um, napkins. The napkins are okay. Nothing I think I need for for my decorating purposes. Okay, so down here you've got a cute little like door hanger. And look at those bags. Those are adorable. So all of that is a dollar. These bags, which are super cute, they're a little bit more substantial and they are three dollars. You have the big eggs. Those are a dollar. Then, so these bigger eggs are dollar packs. I mean, are two dollar packs. But these, uh, these other ones, these smaller ones, just a buck. These are a dollar, but you only get eight. So I'd have to look at Dollar Tree and see if you're getting more because I haven't looked that much. The treat containers and for decorating your other eggs. Down here you have Easter egg full of stickers and then you've got this one like a squeezy. So this one, this bunny of corn surprises, that one's five dollars. So you have, you do have some, but you know, with Dollar Tree having, you know, beginning to do that variety of pricing, these are cute. I like that hippity hoppity. Your peeps. Okay, so Dollar Tree is uh, cheaper on these because Dollar Tree does sell these for five. These are ten dollars here. You've got the baskets. Some of those are five. More color Easter eggs. Oh, I wanted to show you these. So this is, uh, I believe, bubbles. They're really cute. And then over here you have these sort of squishy toys. I love, love this one. And again, a dollar. And if you remember at Christmas time, they put out a series of these with the Christmas. And now you've got them in the Easter. So they have the crazy eggs. They have the go fish. They have the matching card game. And they have old hen. Now I'm buying a set of those. So when I, I will go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing when I get home so you can see what those look like. These are very nice. Okay, this is a substantial sized bucket for five dollars. Really nice. So over here we've got this little basket is five. Let me get down. And then they have these signs. These are five but they also have this piece in bag. This is pretty similar to what Dollar Tree has in its plus section. 
because they've got little stuffed animals. Look at these little plush. They are so cute. They've got the chicks, little bunnies, a dollar. These cute little plush bunnies are a dollar. These little ones, these, oh, they are so precious. Okay, sorry. They got the little chick, they got the little lamb. I wonder if they've got a bunny. They do. Look at the bunny for a dollar. Oh, wow. Okay, those are really cute. All right, up here we have these ice cream cone ones for three dollars. And we've got some um, slightly bigger ones, plush ones. They have their, this is sort of a built in, this doesn't come off. This um, uh, color changing, I guess. Um, sorry about that. Here we have um, the Peep mugs, and there's a couple of different ones. Hanging with my Peeps, Oh for Peep's sake, and then this one. These are all $5, but they come with the mug and with the little Peep inside. I'm trying to keep my camera steady. Down here, you have slightly bigger plushies. Really cute. $3. And they're different. They're different styles. Down here... Again, some additional plushies, $5. That's pretty comparable to what we're seeing at Dollar Tree. I like, I like this guy. This one's really cute. Um, and these are more rounded, so you have a couple different ones of those. All right, I'm going to turn around on this side. This is more spring, so I'm not really seeing much for Easter. So I'll tell you if I find any more Easter. Okay, hey guys. So the uh, first part of this video, I was at Dollar General taking a look at what they had to offer for um, for Easter. And I was pretty impressed. I also went through their Valentine thing. So I told you I was gonna show you what I got. Um, and I wanna show you what I picked up at Dollar Tree. So at the moment, my Dollar Tree shopping is dropping. <laughs> Well, it needs to drop it. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but it, but for some of the things that I want, some of the holiday things, right now, I think I'm going to kind of shift my actions. If I want something holiday-ish, I'm going to go to Dollar General first. And then I'm going to go to Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree's prices are climbing. And, you know, you know. So, I picked up this adorable uh, cupcake bag. Um, they still have really good prices on brags. So does Dollar General. Um, but this one was really cute. I picked this one up. I thought that the cupcakes, I can cut around each one and use that on something that I'm making. So, um, let's see how it works. This was a great buy. So I picked up these, um, extra, let's see, extra thick comfort zones. I really need some. Um, you have to cut these down to the size of your shoe. I picked up two pair, one for me and one for my wonderful husband, um, just to kind of, you know, make sure that he's got comfortable shoes. He has to wear boots a lot, and every time he gets a new pair, he's got to break them in, and they hurt his feet, and I hate that, so we'll see how these work. Excuse me. See how those work. I also found these Gel Active um, Invisible Gel Heel Protectors. So in particular, you can wear these if you're wearing high heels um, or, or obviously I think anything with heels. So I want to try these out. I usually stare away from high heels. I used to wear them a lot when I was younger. My feet just are not as young anymore. <laughs> so if you have suggestions about really comfortable, decent looking shoes, please, please, please leave them in the comments. I would love some ideas. And I just realized I still have... I gotta take down my um. Oops, there we go. Well, that one came down on so. There we go. I had to take down my um. Valentine things. Today. Okay, and so, I mean, Dollar Tree was very small for me this time. They are still kicking out some amazing books. Um, so I am right now. I'm pretty much haunting Dollar Tree for books for a buck twenty-five. These are fabulous books, well-known authors, Madeline Hunter, Sabrina Jeffries, Mary Jo Putney. These are well-known authors. I've read, read a lot of this. Um, Yuletide Kiss, oh, let me tell you. Oh, I shouldn't have, I, I, wait, I also did um, Yuletide, An Unexpected Gift by Madeline Hunter, 
Jenna Waverly has closed her inn, anticipating a blissfully quiet Christmas until a snowstorm brings the first of several strangers to her property. Lucas Avonwood, as charming as he is secretive, is on a mission to track down a scoundrel. But the inn's lovely owner is giving him a more compelling reason to stay. When We Finally Kiss Goodnight by Sabrina Jeffries. When Flora Younger first met Conrad Junker, she thought she'd found her match, only to have her hopes dashed. Conrad is now a famous playwright whose plays Flora has secretly panned in reviews. But a chance meeting in a secluded inn may help them re rewrite this star-crossed romance. And When Strangers Meet by Mary Jo Putney. Kate McLeod is shocked to find that her fellow guests in the snowbound inn in the that her fellow guest in the snowbound inn is the dashing soldier who may or may not be her husband. Daniel Farringdon barely remembers that long ago night when he rescued her from disaster, but the desire they discover now will be impossible to forget. I can't remember really <laughs> if it's covered by a sticker. Let's just end with impossible to forget. There we go. No, I can't give up. Impossible to forget. So um, actually, when I went to this Dollar Tree, I picked up a lot of books, but we were doing when my, um, my wonderful brother and his, and his beautiful wife and amazing daughter visited, um, this, this past weekend or this last weekend, um, we, uh, we did like a little fun bingo thing because it's something my mother used to do. So it was fun to do the bingo thing again. Um, so our, our contribution, I went and just picked up like, you know, a bunch of books and put them out there. So, um, they were, they were a hit. I actually bought two of these so I could keep one. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry I didn't share the books, but I really, I just didn't have time. And then I found some more of the bumblebee fabric. Y'all know me and bumblebees. Um, this has been really hard to find. The most that I've been able to get of it, or actually that I haven't been able to get, uh, my sweet friend Kate uh, picked up some of this for me last year when she was, or this past summer when she was able to find it um, and shipped it to me. Because again, so at this store, this was the only one they had. The only one. So I love the bumblebee fabrics and I'm going to be using them in, in the upcoming stuff that I'm making. So, okay. Now the Dollar Tree things that I found today. Got to say, their dollar, let's see, their, um, whoops, excuse me. Their uh, Valentine items were 70% uh, off. Um, so I could not skip those prices. I do actually also have, I have a Hobby Lobby haul to show you all where their Valentine items were 90% off. And I have some great things. I'm going to show those to you later. And I'll talk about why I bought some of the things that I bought. Um, so I did find these. for these, these actually came down to 30 cents. So these hearts are going to be easy enough to cover. So these are there are three pink hearts inside and a bunch of beads. And then some, some twine. But for 30 cents... So I got a lot of those. I found the red. Um, what else? There's more in this bag. Uh, they had these. This is a uh, blue, yellow, and pink. So I, I did not take all of them. I was tempted because again, 30 cents. Um, so that works out to be, you know, less than 10 cents. For, uh, t well, if, you, if you're just going to do the hearts, 10 cents. But again, I'm going to Mod Podge something on top of those. And then I have this lovely painted surface for the rest of it. So, and hearts are anytime. Hearts are anytime. So there's the red one. How many did I get? I think I bought 10. I think my goal was to buy 10. So let's see, three of the mixed sweethearts, uh, two pink. And two, are there more? All right. Oh, four of the mixed, my mixed. Three and two. So yeah, five total. Um, I just, I think I decided to get the red because I already have an extra pink in this one. If you see them, like I said, 30 cents. That's hard to beat. 30 cents is just hard to beat. Um, I did pick up this. I thought this was adorable. Um, you're, uh, you, you are very sweet. You stole a piece of my heart. You're specta spectacular. Do not forget you're my, this one says, do not forget you're my Valentine. Fries for you. Oh, I only have fries for you. So 
these are adorable and I think, yeah, I bought two of those. I'm going to um, do what I do with these. I'm gonna cut them out. I'm going to attach them to cardstock and actually make them into something else so they're not gonna be window clings. And I will be able to cut out the Valentine references and then they're perfect for many different things. So those were great. And again, 30 cents, just can't beat it. I bought one each of these. So this is this is a little, um, I don't know, I guess it just makes a little scene. You can see on the back sort of the pieces, but the pieces alone, I thought were, were more than worth it. They had more of these. I just bought one each because I wasn't positive what I wanted to do with them. I thought that these in particular, these little penguins are so cute. So stinking cute. Um, I found two packs of these. So you get two of each. So the hearts, the kisses, the teddy bear, and the um, owl. And my thought with these is again, I'm gonna Mod Podge over the top of them so you won't see the Valentine references, uh, but then it just gives me this great, you know, blank basically to use. Um, so I thought that would be super fun. I think right, we're almost done with the Valentine. And then I bought, they, they only had three packs of these. I gra grabbed all three. These are just, you know, the little heart stickers. They're like a little jewel heart sticker. And those are really nice for all sorts of things. I mean, especially card making and, you know, the embellishments that you want to add. Slightly raised. Again, for 30 cents. I'm not going to. And even if they weren't 30 cents, these were only, all of this that I just showed you has, was originally only a dollar. And when you start putting it together, the amount of money that you're saving by not spending that extra quarter at the dollar twenty-five store now, <laughs> um, or whatever it's about to become now, you know, up and up and up, um, that adds up really fast. So I'm gonna three, five, seven. Um, uh, that's seventeen, nineteen. So I bought about twenty items. Uh, from, uh, at, at, you know, if that had been a dollar, those 20 items, I would have saved, um, well, a dollar, I would have saved $5. So because you, but because it's an extra dollar for every four items, I would have saved an extra $5 is not in, in, in to me, that's a substantial, nice savings. So I'm just saying, um, you know, for me, I am going to shift some of my spending ideas about where I would go to pick up certain things. It doesn't mean I'm not going to, I'm not giving up on Dollar Tree yet uh, because they still end up coming up with some great things. But when I go into Dollar Tree, I'm going to be looking for other things. Just say, just say. So with that in mind, I actually took a while. Well, you know, I, you saw the Easter things that I was walking through and I did pick up, these are so cute. So I picked up the bunnies bees and bunnies, and they're a different. Let me show you. They're just called party favors, but th there's a lot you can do with these. Look at how cute that is. I mean, it really is cute. So what I think I might do with these is I have some jars that I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to do with them. And I think I'm going to, I'm, you've probably seen this before. I think I'm gonna spray paint or paint the top of the, the lid of the jar. And I'm going to um, use like a 6,000 glue and attach this to the top and make cute little Easter jars. I just think that, so again, they're different. Look at how cute these are. All right, let me, let me see if I can show you the adorableness of these guys. Let's see, you have the standing one, you had the one that's pretty much lying down, and then you have, let's see, this adorable little one who's kind of half sitting up on his haunches. Let's see if we have any others in here. I think, yep. So, yes. So I got, um, Yes, I'm trying to figure it out. That looks different. No, that's the same. Sorry. So I got two of these. I got two of these, but they're lying down. And then I ended up with four of these guys. So it was, yeah, so for, for the eight count, they're adorable. 
they're adorable. And the jars don't really cost me any money because I'm using, you know, the, the jars that we use up instead of putting them in the recycling, I will reuse them this way. So, so my investment here, these were a dollar. So my investment here is, I don't know, uh, 10, um, it goes into that. Uh, it's about 12 cents, 12, 13 cents. Um, maybe a little bit, you know, maybe let's say once I spray paint the tops, let's say another two cents. So my investment in these is probably going to be about 15 cents. Um, and then, and then I'll sell them and I probably won't sell them for much, maybe three or $4 per jar, uh, as long as they turn out well. I mean, I want them to turn out well, but, and I'll keep one or two because I love the bunnies. <laughs> okay. So I'm loving those really loving those. Um, if you saw that I found these adorable, um, they're, they're like, um, enameled almost. Let me take them out so you can see that without the shine of the package. Yeah. They're nice and shiny and enameled. Um, back to my wonderful friend, Kate. She was showing me something that she's doing right now with some of the um, wood pieces. The little blank, uh, almost blank, you know, they're designed, but they're, they don't have anything on them. And what she is doing with them is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so... I may ask her to share some pictures, Kate, because yeah, I think she's probably listening at some point. I'm going to ask her to share some pictures if she's okay with that. And I'm going to try to do what she does, but I'll share with you the, the gorgeous pieces that she's done because she's very talented. All right. Anyway. Um, but you get this really lovely enamel -y design. It's nice and glossy. I really like these. And again, this was all of a dollar. Um, and then the last thing I showed you with, that I was picking up, sorry for all the crinkly, um, I picked up the sets of cards. So we have the sets of cards. So let's take a look. I don't like opening stuff like this in the store. I just don't. If I can avoid it, I don't want to open it. Let's see what this is like. If it's cute. Oh. So here's the front. Look at the back. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a hedgehog. And um, all right, so I see two hedgehogs in yellow, cows, two of those, two brown bears, two koalas. Oh my gosh. So you get two of each of the main colors. The rabbit, the deer, <laughs> sloth, pig, Whew. chicks, crocodile, or alligator. They are different. I didn't know that before. Cat, frog, dog, and uh, lamb, <laughs> goat, penguin. And then you get directions to play the old, if you want to actually use these for the, your intended purpose. I will not, of course, be using them for their intended purpose. I'm going to use these in, in junk journals. I'm so excited about using them in junk journals. These are absolutely stinking adorable. They really, really are. So if, they're, if this is set, is this cute? Let's see how cute the other sets are. They might look the same. I don't know. I mean, they might have a very similar look, and that actually would still be okay with me because if I can get this one open. So we're going to try this one. This was the one we just looked at, the old hen one. So now the matching game. If I can get them out. Okay, the front. <laughs> All right. This looks pretty similar. So we've got the, oh no, it's not the same rainbows. Look at the cat. Oh my word. Hedgehog, look at that Easter basket. Let me get closer here because holy cow. Flowers, the chicken. Oh my goodness. 
You know, seriously, these are a wonderful uh, gift. If you have a younger child, look at that bee. Um, but for your junk journals, these are just absolutely amazing. Doug, look at the butterflies. Frog and a strawberry. So there were some that were uh, a, the same um, design, but it was, there were lots that weren't. That was fun. Okay, now, next one is Crazy Eights. Let's see what they did with the Crazy Eights. And they each one of these has a card that's just like describing how to play the game, if you, if you want to do that. Okay, so that's the front. And let's see what they have here. So we've got, okay, for this, this one you have, how many do you have? Two, four, six, oh, eight, of course. Is that eight or nine? I'm gonna count right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's nine, so you get nine of them. So we got nine of that one, so that means we're gonna get nine of Mr. Bunny, which is stinking adorable. And we're gonna get nine of Mr. Hedgehog, and we're gonna get nine of the pig. So cute. So cute. And last, we have Go Fish. So I think with these, we're probably gonna get four of each, maybe. Okay. Got to find out. Cute little frog. Yes, I think we're gonna get four of each. So we have the chicken. This is slightly different. I like how they kind of circled this one. Really cute that hedgehog. Oh, I love the chickadees. I really love those. The lamb. Of course, you got to have your frog and your dog. So those are, those are those. So that's it. Um, hope you found something interesting. And I am, uh, I really am. I'm kind of, I'm really digging what Dollar General is doing right now, especially with their holiday items. As you saw, not everything is this cheap. But when, but if you can hold yourself to like the cute little games and things and stuff for, you know, especially if you're doing, um, you know, for the, for things, if you go to, to, um, Easter or, you know, I'm sure Valentine's day or at Christmas time, some of the little Christmas things, these are fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Just saying. All right. That's it for that. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and joining, joining us and, um, right now we're close to about 2,600 subscribers and I'm really hoping to hit 5,000 this year so I can do kind of a big giveaway. Um, okay. I'll see y'all later. Cheers.